Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Fuzzfinger here, and it's been a few days since we've done any of the rare fiends for the Hunt Club quest, so I thought we'd get on with another two today, and the plan is we're going to be taking on Dreadguard and Nazanir, so hopefully this is going to help you, I'm going to show you where the monsters themselves are, and of course how to spawn them, so hit the like button if you enjoy watching, and we'll get on with today's show. First of all then, I'm going to be taking on Dreadguard, and Dreadguard uh, spawns in the Feywood, so make your way over, I'm going to try coming from Giravagum, but you can also come from uh, Salika Wood, is it? I get confused with all these areas, uh, Paramina, Rift and Galmore, Jungle, so you can come from the north, but I'm going to be coming from the south on this occasion, and we're going to make our way through to the area uh, above the save point, this one here. So connect to the head mines. Uh, in fact, we probably could have come across from the head mines now that we've killed that Esper fella, whatever his name was, Zodiac. But this will do. So we'll head over there and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so from the blue save crystal here, we're going to head into the area west. And it's not a guaranteed spawn, as you'd probably suspect being one of the rare mobs that we have to kill. So we're just going to make our way up here. And we're looking for Dreadguard. And he's basically one of these things here. Uh, one of these mirror knights. So, by all means, kill them if you wish. Just make sure you're in the walk of Dancing Shadow. And when you see those Mirror Knights, go ahead and select the attack button. It doesn't look like he spawned on this occasion because he normally spawns over here to the west. So, we'll just make our way over here. Yeah, I don't think he has spawned, unfortunately. At least this should be his spawn point around here and he's not here. So maybe he walks around. I'll just have a look. If not, we'll obviously have to uh, just pop out and pop back in and try and get him to show his ugly chops. But right now, no luck. Okay, yeah, spawned around here somewhere because I've just seen his name. And you might, there he is, look, you might have to pop out actually two zones instead of one in order to get him to reset. But uh, just bear that in mind. You can also steer a mirror scale from him. So I'm just going to select the gambits for Balthea here. And we'll just turn Fran off for now. And Pinello, because that scape is going to utterly obliterate him if we don't. And we'll never get to steal. Plus he's liking to cast a little bit of the old uh, reflect as well. Oh, we did get the uh, thief cuffs on Balthea. I completely forgot. So it don't matter now anyway, let's just go ahead and turn on those gambits once more. And lay on the ultimate destruction of Ponage against the Dreadguard here. Oh, stupid uh, Pinello's casting scathe. Of course she is. Let's go ahead and turn her off. Scathe is like super powerful, which means that when your opponent has Reflect, and he shouldn't have Reflect, what is Fran playing at? Fran, it's called Learn to Dispel, please. Uh, yeah, when your opponent has Reflect, then obviously Scathe uh, has that power that you don't want to see because it's obviously given to your party, which isn't a good thing. But there we have it, that's Dreadguard. So not too challenging, he's only level 46. Just watch out for that Reflect spell. You can dispel it. All of these Mirror Knights tend to have Reflect, so just bear that in mind when you're fighting them. And then we're going to head over next to uh, fight... What was the other guy that we're doing today? I completely forgot his name. Oh, it was uh, Nazanir, wasn't it? So we're going to be making our way over to the Giza Plains for this guy. And hopefully we'll take care of him without too much trouble. Okay, my mistake. I keep saying Nazanir. We've done Nazanir already. I'm getting them confused. It's Victanir is the one we're going to do. And it's a similar type of creature. It looks the same. So my apologies for that. You need to make your way over to the Ogre Yen's Sansi. And then head over to the west once you've reached this place. So forget what I was saying about going to the Giza Plains. That was uh, just an error on my part. I apologise. And we're going to head over into the southwestern part of this map to take us into the next area. And there's a 40% chance then that Victonir, not Nazanir, Victonir, can spawn in the next area. And there's three locations he can spawn in, and I'll show you those as well. 
but basically they're all over to the west, the southwestern part. So we'll just kill these guys first. And he can spawn then uh, over here, just as we start going into this section. But it doesn't look like he has spawned here. So we'll go into the next place he can spawn, which is just up here. And again, doesn't look like he has. So he can spawn here. And then finally he can spawn down in this crevice over yonder as well. But it doesn't look like he has, so I'm going to be resetting the area and trying again. He's got a 40% spawn chance each time you enter this zone. But fortunately, as you can see, you can make your way out and then back in again. So let's try that again. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more luck this time. Dum de dum de dum. Over here. No, nothing. Okay, here he is. And it does seem like you have to run two screens away, unfortunately, to get him to spawn. Not just one. I was having no luck just heading into the Zentina caverns and then coming back out. I had to actually go through two screens, come back, and of course here he is. Which is what we wanted to see. So I was hoping to steal from him. Is there a chance of that happening? Redus is laying on a little bit of damage here, unfortunately. So if we can steal him, then wonderful. Steal from him, then wonderful. But also do with a few bits of heal. So you can steal a War God's Band, which is what I'm trying to do at the moment. In terms of level and everything for this guy, I'll just turn this gambit off here. He's level 46 or 47. And he has around 55,000 health. So quite a lot of health for his level. Oh, we stole from him. Marvellous. Uh, I don't think we got what we wanted there. I keep forgetting to equip the Thief's Cuffs. Ah, not to worry. Let's just go ahead and lay on the damage now. And finish him off once and for all. There we go. So he does have quite a bit of health. But if you're obviously higher level than he is, then he's not going to cause too much of an issue in taking him down. And you get the Maverick Trophy for your trouble. And as always, for the Hunt Club mobs, once you've killed them, they will never respawn again. So make sure if you do want to steal from them, you do so. And if you want to steal multiple of the same item that they have, then make sure you escape from the area. Uh, respawn them again. And steal from them again as many times as you need before actually killing them. Once they're dead, they're permanently dead. But anyway guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video I would say, since both mobs are now down. And we're going to come back next time, and I don't know what we'll be doing, probably doing some more Hunt Club stuff, but we'll see about that. So thanks for joining me today guys, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.